um, a little bag of treats. This is my, I hope to make a video of this. It's my favorite um, candy shop in the local mall in my town. Kind of like an old-fashioned candy spot where there's lots of little bins of small different candies. But it's, it's a pleasure because um, they've got such a great variety. So today, this is the little bag they give you your treats in. Um, I've got many things to show you. Um, mini treats. I'm going to start with um, are these. They're adorable. Um, look. <laughs> mini frog. Um, mini pig. <laughs> Panda. I will... There's no real easy way to open this. Usually there's some sort of easy means, but um, I guess I'll just poke it. If someone knows a cool way to open this that I don't know about, let me know. I don't know how to open it. So un Japanese. Okay, I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm gonna stab Mr. Pig. And inside. Ah! Look! Mr. Pig has blue brains. Look at that. He has blue brains. Blue brains! be a cooler way to open that. Very cool. Let's try it. So, there's a little note inside, too. What's that? Oh, look! Inside, a little tiny card! Little samurai guy with a fan. How stinking cool. And on the back it says 20 yen. I don't know what that means. Someone out there in cyberspace, if you know what this is, tell me. <laughs> so cool. So Piggy has a little guy inside. Now let's try the little dragees. These look like dragees, kind of like what you would put on like cupcake decorations. Mmm. Surprisingly good. I thought they'd just be sugary, but they taste like a lemonade. Kind of lemon limey. Good. Alright, should we see what's inside Panda? Stab Panda in the brain. I, there's got to be a more elegant way of opening this, but... Oh, it's the same. Blue brains. But let's see what the card is. It's a different card. Ta da Panda has a little panda guy in a car. It says Hozure. Hozure. No, no, no. Assume you said Hazure. Hazure. Who knows what Hazure means? Tell me. I don't know what Hazure is. Vocabulary is not very good in Japanese. Hazure. Same flavor. Something must happen between all these little cards. I'm not sure what. But something. Let's see what's on inside, Froggy. <coughs> Same blue balls. There's gotta be an elegant way to eat this. There's gotta be. Why don't you just dump them all in your mouth or something? And then there's a card. Oh, see? <laughs> Alright, any guesses on what this card is? Suit. I don't know what that means. Geek it too. So I got that. That looks like a winner of some kind. And these things. Anybody know? Let me know. That was fun. And you get a little bunch of these things. So I got those at the little um, candy shop for 10 yen each. Next! This. Uh, mixed fruits. These look like, um, I think they're like little mochi. Little mochi. Um, but it comes with, it looks like strawberry, melon, pineapple, and a tiny little toothpick in there. So this is like old school. And I think you just open it. Like that. And you have a little clear window thing that you pull off. Like a toothpick. And you eat your tiny mochi. So I've seen these before but I've never tried them. So, curious. Let's try. I think the pink is going to be Ichigo strawberry. Mmm! 
You know what they're exactly like? They're exactly like um, gumdrops in flavor and in texture. Yellow. Mmm. That one doesn't have much taste. This one tastes like fruit punch. Pink, fruit punch. Yellow, like kind of like lemon. Green, I'm thinking melon. Mmm. Kind of tastes a lot like the yellow. This one's my favorite. Mmm. That one tastes like... You know what it totally tastes like? Mike and Ike's. These taste like Mike and Ike's. Like the little... You know, Mike and Ike's. The kind of jelly bean things. That's what these taste like. Except they're not so crunchy on the outside. It's just like the center of, of a jelly bean or a Mike and Ike. So that's mixed fruits um, mochi. Not bad. Next in our mini theme, um, three mini <laughs> gumi sodas. Gumi ko kora botoru. So mini cola bottle. This was tenen. It says kora. It says jack gumi on it. Jack gumi. And yogoro to. Mmm. So I think it's supposed to be like a mini yogurt. Um, boru. Ramane botoru. So this is like those Japanese um, sodas that you use a marble and you plush the marble down to get the Japanese soda. That's what this is. So Hola. <laughs> Ramane and the little yogurt bottle. So mini. So let's try that one, this one first. So you open it, you just peel it from the back. Look at the color. Oh. It's not opening as cleanly as I would like. Feel it out. So as you probably noticed from like the other candies that I've done, that gummies are really popular here in Japan. So um, really sticky. Let's try it. Mmm. Tastes like a gummy. Not surprising. Mmm. It's a lot like um. Like a gummy you would find in the States. I'm trying to think of an equivalent. Mm. Just like any gummy, like a gummy worm. Yeah, like a gummy worm. This one I think is going to be the same. I think it's going to be um, unsurprising, like cocoa flavor. Okay, this one peels so much better. That other one was just uncooperative. This one peels great. Sticky fingers and all, and even says cola on it. And I think this is just going to taste like cola. That wasn't very graceful. Mm -hmm. Cola gummy. Not surprising. Just like cola gummies at home. Okay, last one. Yogurt. Ooh, this one's really orange. It's not really that yellow color. Mmm. Doesn't taste like yogurt at all. It tastes like orange um, gummy. Um, I think this one's my least favorite. I think my favorite one was the Ramane one. And uh, Cola second, and this third. So, and, that um, yeah, that's it. And hopefully next time I'll have a video of my little favorite candy shop. I have to ask permission if it's okay to walk around the video camera. Um, people get a little bit wigged out when they see that, especially when I'm talking to myself in English. Um, but hopefully they'll be cooperative. Um, oh, that's my neighbor. Anyways, I gotta get going. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and please leave comments. Let me know what you want to see, and um, yeah, love hearing from you guys. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!